Hi, this is Ten Finger John, and I made it to the wood shop, and I have the um, those uh, logs that I bucked up the other week, uh, last week, um, in the shop, and I'm gonna mill them on the bandsaw, and get a few you know small boards out of it. But it, look, it looks like I'll get you know enough to make a nice little small jewelry box. So what I'll, we'll look at today is um, the steps I'm gonna take to uh, mill up this uh, these logs, and basically the logs I cut them into roughly <clears throat> between 24 inch and 36 inch lengths so they're manageable on the bandsaw um, nothing too long right now and and because I know I'm going to just make a, a small jewelry box out of it um, I kept the length small so they're more manageable so let's look take a look so the first thing I need to do is I made these three support blocks that are just some scrap plywood and then I got another piece of half inch scrap ply um, that's basically 18 inches wide by 48 inches long. So what I need to do now is basically secure this uh, link, this log, this round uh, to the plywood using the support block. So here I'm just lining them up and I get them all screwed down. So I'm just getting the last uh, support block in place. And these blocks, they're about one and a half inches wide by three inches long and I just screw them together. So once that they're in place, I'm basically lining up the center pith of the log off the outside edge of the piece of plywood. So I'm just checking that. And let's say that measurement on the far side was, uh, let's say 13 inches. So I'm on this near side checking that and making it sure it's the same. And by doing this, I'm gonna get that straight cut. Uh, so I'll be able to get a straight edge and get a nice cut off the piece of plywood. And once I get that secured down, I'm ready to go to the bandsaw. And that'll be the next step to cut it up. So here at the bandsaw, I have a resaw blade in. It's about one inch wide and two teeth per inch. And I'm just checking the height of my blade support that make sure it does clear the log that I'm gonna be pushing through the bandsaw. Now, once that is done, the next thing is check my fence. So make sure it's adjusted to the proper position. And before I get going, make sure you have your, your safety glasses on, of course. And basically when you're bandsawing, it's all about you know having proper position and watching your feed rate. So basically, you don't want to be pushing this um, big log through too quickly and forcing uh, to make make forcing the blade to make the cut. You basically want to see how the saw is cutting and just uh, let let the saw cut at its pace. So now here I am halfway through my cut. And the nice thing about band saws are relatively safe. Just got to watch your finger, your hands clear the blade. And once I'm past the halfway point, I can walk around and finish my cut by pulling it. And here I am just finishing the board and getting my first straight edge off of this particular uh, link. So voila, there it is. And so far it's looking great. So here basically I'm repositioning the log on, to get my second uh, base. So I remove those plywood blocks and I'm going to remeasure and follow the same steps as I did earlier in the video to get this... Uh, a log secured to the plywood for the second cut. So here I am making my second cut. Again, uh, just basically watch your feed rate, have good position, and just slowly make your cut. And get that done. And on the next uh, step here, you can see I'm getting my third face uh, roughed out. And basically I don't need the plywood anymore because I have two straight edges now that I can use to reference and basically just pass it through the saw as is. And finally, I have my fourth uh, side to be cut. I'm adjusting my guard support, so it's about a quarter inch to half inch above uh, to clear the log. And now I'm making my final cut. And I'll, at the end of this, I'll have uh, my log will have four good sides where I can reference off of. I'm ready to go. So now I'm going to take a look at the end of this board uh, of this log, and I just want to see uh, which way I'm going to cut this. I'm going to either cut the boards straight up and down, or I can cut them across. And we will be taking a look and deciding where I can maximize the number of boards I can get out of here, get out of this uh, log and uh, avoiding that pit. Uh, now I'm just setting up the fence at uh, 7 eighths of an inch. Uh, I'm going with this thickness because I know the, the final project will be a jewelry box and my thickness will be a finished thickness of half an inch. So 7 eighths is ample uh, thickness, uh, my, my rough thickness. Uh, to allow for air drying and then final um, cleanup and, and uh, straightening of the board. 
So here I'm passing that uh, first, uh, making that first cut. Again, watching my feed rate, and I'm finishing it up. So you can see uh, it'll be quite an interesting grain pattern, and I'm looking forward to the julep box. Now I'm, as you can see, I've got about four four boards cut out, and make my final cut here, passing it through. And once that's all cut and ready, I'm going to basically stack them and have them ready to air dry. Now here I have uh, the four nice boards that I've cut out. And what's important before you start drying is at the end grain here, you want to basically uh, add a coat of paint to seal the ends up, and that's really important because you don't want the end to start checking and cracking. And while you're having this uh, air dry, you're going to sticker it, which are the pieces of plywood that are equally spaced one on top of the other. This is important to allow the airflow between each board, and it'll allow it to uh, season properly and slowly. And it'll take about a year before um, this wood is fully seasoned and ready to be worked. And the final thing, just before I start cutting the rest of the logs that I have, I just want to show you a bit of the grain. It's looking really nice. Nice cherry, and basically a woodworker's got to be patient, and soon we'll have a beautiful jewelry box. Stay tuned.